I'm back. I know it's been a butt long time since I've done a favorite things video, so I apologize, but I am back. Um, I officially went on maternity leave, so I have some downtime, and um, a few things have changed since I last made a video. Um, one, my hair is pink, <laughs> and two, my belly is super round. I am ripe as can be. I'm preggers. I have less than three weeks to go, um, so I've been a little occupied. <laughs> but anyways, there are always vegan things to review, and that's what I'm here for. So let's get started. Um, so nail polish. I've been rocking purple this week. I'm using two shades, and um, lately I've been putting mustachios on my thumbs. Um, so the brands of nail polish I've been using, well, let me go over them one at a time. The base coat I've been using, Gabriel. Um, this can be found at Whole Foods. You can order it online. Um, does the job. It's so funny how even though these things are formaldehyde and toluene or whatever, however it's pronounced and uh, DBP free, uh, they still are so obnoxiously toxic smelling. Um, so I had to do like chocolate rain uh, style breathing when I was doing it, you know, like, like taking <laughs> deep breaths um, so I could just like get through it. But anyways. Gabriel, good stuff, gets the job done. And Zoya, I know all we vegans are crazy about Zoya. Um, these two purple shades are the ones that I have. Um, I have this darker one on my thumbs with the mustaches. And this shade is called Pinta. Um, let's see, that's what it looks like. I don't know, it kind of just looks black on my computer. But anyways, it's a deep, deep, beautiful purple. It's kind of like eggplanty. And then there's this one, which I think you can see it's got like some shimmery sparkles in there. It's also a purple shade, and I used that on all my remaining fingers. And this shade is called Nika. I always wonder how they name these. These are cute. Nika and Pinta. I love it. <laughs> and the little mustache uh, decal things I got from Claire's. <laughs> I think everything they carry is cruelty-free, which is why I like shopping there. Anyways... There's some black ones, some pink ones, different sizes, different types of mustaches. Fun, fun stuff. What? <laughs> this is, ah, it's an awesome deodorant by the company called Me and You. They can be found on Etsy. Um, this is totally vegan deodorant and it's aluminum free. It's natural. This reminds me of a brand I reviewed called Pit Putty. Similar consistency. In fact, instead of just like rubbing it on, sometimes I just like to get a little bit on my finger and just kind of like really rub it in there, make sure it gets in there. Um, this scent is grapefruit and it smells beautiful. I love it. And uh, deodorant is notorious for being full of all kinds of gunk you don't want in your body. So eee, this is good stuff. Thank you for sending this to me. So this next bit of awesome is on the jewelry front, and this is by an Etsy store called Tarnished and True. I kind of went on a mommy jewelry kick and just started, as soon as I found out the sex of our baby, I just went nuts and bought all kind of jewelry with his initials and name and whatnot. Anyways, I bought this cute little ring trio, and it has Avi's name on it, which is my husband. Um, there's a heart and then my baby's name on it. I have it turned around because we're keeping baby boy's name a secret. Um, but look how cute that is. Adorable, right? I'll show you what it looks like on him. And um, this makes such a great gift and it's so unique and it's handmade. Oops, let's see. Adorable, right? I highly recommend you go on Etsy and you shop there because these are people making things from scratch with their craftiness, which I totally admire. And um, I don't know, they're like one of a kind. Okay, next up is my favorite book. Um, right now it's this vegan cooking for carnivores. Um, it has over 125 recipes and these recipes were designed for Ellen DeGeneres and her lovely wife, Portia de Rossi, who are vegan in case you didn't know. Um, so this is a cool concept because a lot of people think that vegans are missing out on all kinds of scrumptious, deliumptious food, and it's just straight up myth. There's so many yummy 
yummy recipes in here like Rubens and chicken fried steak bites and nacho cheese, stuffed mushrooms, spicy noodle salad. This is a good one for when guests from out of town come over or you know people that are skeptical about how yummy vegan food can be. So this is definitely a must buy. Get this and put this in your kitchen ASAP. Okay, um, I've been trying to do as much pampering as possible before the big day. I've um, been taking a lot of really relaxing bubble baths. Um, and one of my all-time favorite things is to do hand scrubs before bedtime. You just put a little bit in there, scrub away, and it's like this little tingly hand massage. It's awesome. And then use some really emollient thick, uh, rich hand cream to follow. Um, but the scrub that I've been digging lately is from Prem Soaps. It's basil mint. It looks like a soul. And basically, it's super simple. Um, like I said, this is basil mint. Um, and it has sea salt, and it contains um, avocado, coconut, sweet almond oil, and essential oils. And it just feels really good. <laughs> and I'm really grateful because this has been such a nice treat. In fact, I think when I'm done with this video, I'm going to do a hand scrub. As far as anti-aging goodies go, and you know I had to bring that up because that's who I am. Love them. Um, Blasoma has this, what is it called? It's a, just a restore oil. It has a bunch of seed and nut oils high in essential fatty acids. Um, a lot of nutrients going on in here and just use a little tiny a bit, you know, right around the eyes, wherever you're afraid of getting wrinkles or have fine lines. Um, and this will do the trick. It feels amazing on the skin. I love this brand. Everything they make is pretty awesome. So as far as anti-aging goodies, this is what I'm rocking right now. Um, so like I said, <laughs> I'm 37 weeks pregnant. Um, I only have a few more weeks to go. I'm really antsy and excited. And I just want to let everyone know that my baby is 100% vegan, as am I. And I have been for over 12 years. And basically, it's really easy to do. I didn't change anything about my diet. I just kept eating what I normally ate. Um, I did take a vegan prenatal, prenatal vitamin from Trader Joe's, um, just as like a, you know, all mommies are taking them, so it just seemed like a good thing to do. Um, and it definitely has like the B vitamins and the iron and the folic acid and all the stuff that's like you, know, you got to have. Um, but I haven't, you know, it's odd. I haven't really had any cravings. Per se, I mean, I've had cravings pre-pregnancy, but nothing's really changed. And I'd like to think it's because I'm getting all the nutrition I'm supposed to be getting. <laughs> and um, people have been asking me if I've, <coughs> excuse me, been craving meat. Um, and I've heard tales of, you know, vegan, long-time vegans who got pregnant and started eating meat because their body just craved it. And I want to say I never once had those cravings, um, nor have I as a vegan had meaty cravings. Um, when I want a hot dog, I have a vegan hot dog and it never enters my mind like, oh, I gotta have the non-meat version. I just, I don't know, my brain has conformed. Um, and all the vegan foods are so hella tasty and there's a meat version of everything. There's a dairy vegan version of everything. It's kind of like silly. So, <laughs> there's not, ex there's no excuse to not stay vegan is all I want to say. And I've had a really easy pregnancy. It's been really smooth sailing and I'm really excited to meet baby boy. And I will, of course, keep you guys posted uh, with updates and photos and all that jazz. Um, I am having a natural home water birth. Um, so, I, I hope to blog about that too. Doing it all au natural. And um, in fact, I'm meeting with my doula today. And um, we have midwives, we've got the birth plan rocking, it's a very exciting time. I'll keep you guys posted and as always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to email me or comment on this video. And also if you have favorite vegan things that you want to share with me, I would love to hear about that. And I'm going to wrap this up. Mwah! I love you all and have a beautiful day. Bye.